Mr. Osborne, how do you know the defendant? Uh, he's my fiance, Daisy Midgley, stalker. On what basis do you make that accusation? He's been hassling her for months. Unsolicited flowers, gifts, turning up out of the blue, constant messages, there must be phone records. The jury have printouts of text exchanges between Miss Midgley and Mr. Rutherford. Page 11 in your bundle. I will read a few examples. From Miss Midgley. Please, please leave me alone. Stop texting. To which Mr. Rutherford responds, you don't mean that. Come out with me tomorrow. Miss Midgley replies, all in capital letters, what part of leave me alone don't you understand? Four question marks. Mr. Rutherford replies with a laughing emoji and a red pulsating heart. Are these the kind of texts you're referring to? Yes. He was relentless. And you believe Miss Midgley was the intended target of this appalling acid attack? Is that correct? Yes, she was. Tell the court why you believe that. His behavior was getting worse. He was out on bail for assaulting her when he threw the acid. Your Honor, sorry to interrupt, but the witness wasn't present when the substance was thrown. It's misleading to have him conclusively state that Mr. Rutherford threw the acid. Perhaps you could stick to what the witness witnessed, Mr. Winchester. Let me ask you about the initial assault you mentioned, the one on Miss Midgley that took place on Monday the 13th of March. You witnessed that? Yes. He just lost it. Couldn't cope with the fact that we were planning our wedding. Are planning our wedding. Is it correct that you and Miss Midgley split up recently? Miss Midgley returning to the, the Rover's return, her former home? Briefly. Was that your idea? Daisy's. Everything was getting on top of her. It's Ryan here. So she finished the relationship? As I said, briefly. Yes or no will suffice? Yes. Then she changed her mind and not only wanted to resurrect the relationship, but to go straight back into planning your marriage? Yes. Would you say Miss Midgley was highly strung? High maintenance? No. What about you, Mr. Osborne? Are you highly strung? What do you mean by that? Prone to extreme emotions and behaviours, easily, some might say, triggered. No, I'm not. Yet on March the 8th, you assaulted Mr. Rutherford, is that correct? He let himself into our house where Daisy was, alone. He frightened her. I snapped. He broke in. Was there much damage? The back door was unlocked left unlocked by someone who claimed she was terrified of a stalker that could show up at any moment. Careless, wouldn't you say? Perhaps. Or perhaps Daisy told you he had broken in to cover up the fact that she had, in fact, invited him in. She wouldn't. Perhaps she didn't want you to know that she was stringing the defendant along, so made up a story about him forcing his way in. That is not what Or perhaps happened. you realised that she'd invited him in and it was in a jealous rage that you assaulted the defendant. No. It wasn't the first time Miss Midgley had moved your wedding date, was it, Mr Osborne? No, but... It must have been unsettling, never quite knowing where you stood. Did you ever consider walking away? Never. As I said, we love each other. It seems to me that Daisy inspires strong emotions in all the men that she surrounds herself with, helped along by the mixed messages that she puts out. We are together. We're not. We're to be married. We're not. Your Honour, I have to. Justin caused all of that. Could you stick to asking questions, Miss Fraser? Wasn't Justin just another victim of Miss Midgley's mixed messages? Victim. He threw acid at her. Well, perhaps that's what we're here to establish. No further questions. Mr. Osborne, you're excused. I'd like to call the next witness, Daisy Midgley. You got this.
It wasn't just the stalking. It was the waiting. Not knowing what he was going to do or when. No matter how many times I told him that he was wrong about me, he just didn't believe it. And the police did nothing. Just told me to keep a log, and when I couldn't get the restraining order... A uh, stalking protection order? Yes. When the courts didn't give me that, I knew. I knew that something terrible was going to happen. The acid. It was meant for me. He said it when he threw it. No one will want you after this. You say you were scared all the time. Yet here I have screenshots from your social media account that suggests, in fact states, that you are, and I quote, having an amazing time, living my best life, the happiest girl on the planet. That's social media. A construct. An image of how you wish to be seen by the world. Kind of. Well, is it? Yes or no? Yes, I suppose. A mixed message. Not unlike the messages you like to give the men in your life, such as your fiancé, who you finish with, take back, agree to marry, change the wedding date. My head was a mess because of Justin. Mixed messages like you gave Ryan Connor? I didn't give Ryan mixed messages. Is it true that you used lies and manipulation to deliberately break up his relationship with Alia Nazir? Yes. Why? I don't know. Spite? Jealousy? You, you wanted Ryan to yourself? Maybe. Yeah. But it was a long time ago and we've all moved on. What about the mixed messages you gave to the defendant? To Justin. I told him to leave me alone over and over again. That is not a mixed message. You were never nice to him? At the start, for like five seconds. His mum was dying. But after that, never. No. I, I changed my number. I blocked him on my socials. I went to the police. You mentioned a stalking protection order. But it says here that it wasn't granted. Why was that? They didn't have enough on him. Insufficient evidence. The defendant hadn't done enough, or perhaps he hadn't done much at all. No, he had. They just couldn't prove it. He, he was arrested for assaulting me. He was charged. Does that not count? This was an assault on the 13th of March. The arresting officer was PC Craig Tinker, who also witnessed the assault, correct? Yes. Convenient that your fiancé rustled up a police officer at exactly the right moment. The defendant claims you wound him up, provoked him, lured him there in the first place. Did you plant a PC tinker, see the altercation between you and the defendant? No. I must remind you that you are under oath. I am sure the witness is aware of that. Sorry, Your Honour. So you did no pre-planning, no provoking, no conspiring to orchestrate Justin's anger towards you? He assaulted me. There is no excuse for that. No further questions. No, he made my life miserable. No further questions. Thank you, Miss Midgley. You are excused. If that is the last of the witnesses, we will move on to our defendant. Your Honour, I have one final witness. The prosecution calls Mr. Ryan Conn. 